now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like, folding a slice <laughs> of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Havana, Cuba, the problem. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts, the Great! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Too. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedown. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. All right, single collar tie now. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Nice defense there, huge block. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. That's a nice try. Oh, collar tag. He's out and scrambled, folks. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Uh, glancing right hand upstairs. Leg kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. In the clinch, big body punch, digging his entire hip into every single strike. Nice looping punch. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Big kick land. It's a good knee to the body. Oh, misses with the jab. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Right hand punching the master of the transition. Nice scramble. I mean, he's cutting 
around the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? in a single collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Ooh, what a punch. Look at him drive his chin into the open body with that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Going orthodox now. Look at the force behind that leg kick. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head of the clip. And they separate. Oh yeah, right here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Connects with a right. Big call for punch lands. Now we get back in range. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Ooh, what a head kick. Just misses with that big right hand. Look at the turtle in that kick. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Right under the elbow, the body keep lands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big elbow there, Lance. Big kick, Lance. position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this house. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. 
take many of those, you better check. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Try to establish that jab. And they clinch once again. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Just missed with the left there. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm gonna shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, you gotta defend this. Set up your attack, Jeff, man. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab, but you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Real nice body to play. Oh, just misses with the kick. gets the single collar tie. Scuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Single collar tie now. Just misses with the jab. Big body kick lands. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. It's a beautiful, fast punch jab with meaning. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very easy match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next one. That punch, no good. Nice leg kick. Oh, good kicks. Pretty significant well to the left side. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into this strike. Oh, goes to the roundhouse kick now and lands. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What a devastating technique, the roundhouse kick here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Big and kick. Nice leg kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. 
massive knee to the body land. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Strike punches there. And they separate. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. He's driving the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, You've man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you see a takedown, or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Nice body right of the over. All right, single collar tie now. <laughs> Big body kick. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Powerful leg kick lands. Nice straight punch. Oh, collar tie. They're trying to kick the leg out. 15 seconds remain in the round. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men. Stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You're fine. It's just a little blood. You've been here before. You've been fighting. No worries. We like the taste of our own blood. Now's the chance to run. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy. It was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active, the cardio the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with, it's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Just misses there with the left. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, nice job to block the kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Just missed on the front kick there. Nice right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, 
single collar tie here. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent to shoot, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting it over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Got the single collar tie. Nice strike. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night that that landed. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, a lot of fighters say there's no worse feeling on fight night than when your cardio abandons you, and there's been a lot of output in this fight, but both of these men are absolutely against. They both fought very hard, but after round one, you saw one guy's cardio say, good night, guys, and in the second round, you saw the other guy, good night, guys. Now they're left with no cardio, and there's gonna be a question of will and determination, and that's gonna be who wins the fight. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Ninety seconds to go. Whiffs on that offering. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Big kick. Fifteen seconds to go. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Final seconds. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for the That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Nice punch here. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. You got to check these low leg kicks. Single collar tie now. And they separate. They're able to check the high kick. Oh, collar tie. Oh, 
Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Big leg kick lands. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. What a body kick. Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. That's a big strike right there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. So under three minutes to go here in the fight. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Able to check that kick as well. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Back and forth we go. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice kick. And he landed the right hand there. Just misses with that one. Plus right hand is true. Beautiful body kick. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Big shot land. Oh, beautiful combination. It was all set up by that takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Big kick land. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Oh, big punch land. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head and everything. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision.
All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the girl. All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision.